Duke ConocoPhillips, uh, which is a subsidiary of Duke Energy and ConocoPhillips, is uh, proposing and trying to get a uh, 22.7 million gallon liquid propane tank built uh, in Searsport. And right next to a, a huge energy tank farm that contains gasoline, heating oil, and a number of other fuels. And uh, this is the largest proposed liquid propane tank in the United States. Uh, and it has gone through several levels of approval. There is a lawsuit outstanding right now. It's been approved by the Army Corps of Engineers, by Homeland Security, both of which refused to have a public hearing, even though a huge number of people have asked for a public hearing. And right now it's before the main fuel board. And uh, when that, if that is permit is given, then the, the planning board of Searsport will consider that project and, and either approve it or, or, or turn it down. It's not, the, it's not actually the problem of propane, it's, it's the, the volume that they wish to store in one place. It will be the largest propane tank in the United States, according to the Free Press a few weeks ago, uh, over 23 billion gallons. There's no, absolutely no uh, uh, neutral zone between the people who live in Searsport and this tank. Uh, this is right next to houses, it's right next to a huge tank farm containing a, approximately 122 uh, uh, atomic bomb equivalents of energy, gasoline, all of which are flammable and extremely explosive. Uh, gasoline, uh, uh, fuel oil, uh, diesel fuel, uh, kerosene, jet fuel, and uh, it's just a really, really bad location and a huge, it's too large a tank. There's no way they can put out a fire. The Searsport fire chief said, if a propane fire starts, you will have to just let it burn. Well, if you let, just let uh, 22 million gallons burn, and this expands by 250 times when it turns from liquid to gas, this will cover a huge area of Searsport and Stockton Springs. And it will incinerate both those towns for sure. It will uh, incinerate the tank farm. It will probably incinerate every tree in inside inside a huge forest fire which will go in every direction. So four counties are probably under threat of uh, destruction uh, if this tank is agreed to be built. Uh, the, actually, there aren't really any good uh, laws that protect us against liquid propane. The destruction of those towns and that whole area and the incineration, I mean, that's pretty dramatic imagery. What are the authorities or the regulators saying about that? What's their response to that kind of risk? That's a good question. There haven't been any responses. We haven't gotten answers. Uh, there's been a huge, there is a website called thanksbutnotank.org. Go there and you'll see that there have been a number of meetings of people and they've generated a huge number of questions to ask about this. And the fact is, the people who are applying for the permit have not answered the questions. They, uh, the word is that this has been fast-tracked. This has been fast-tracked by the federal government. The Army Corps of Engineers denied a public hearing. Uh, the, the Coast Guard denied a public hearing. The newspapers are not really printing the danger of this. They're pr printing a lot of very, very fluff stories. So it, the, the story is not being told by the media correctly. Uh, this is, these are very, very, very powerful people with lots and lots and lots of money. And they have expenses, they hire public relations, they go around and they, they convince people in some way to keep this quiet. Everybody should go to the main uh, fuel board, call them or send them letters or send them emails, whatever, and tell them, this is an extremely dangerous proposal, please turn it down. And the main fuel board is now holding the cards on this. Is is they're up or down? If they say yes, we're in. Very, it's very likely this will be built, and it's very likely there will be an accident. There are accidents every day. You see accidents about this kind of gas, and so we're in very very dangerous territory.